Hello everyone and welcome to Retro Dad Modern Lad, the YouTube channel and soon to be website. And this is a special edition of the Tomb Raider Let's Play. We're playing a mod which has been entered into the Sega Extreme competition. Going on over at Sega Extreme. So go over there and check it out. And this mod was by Ross, R-O-S, and it's the Lost Valley in Tomb Raider, the demo. And there's some quite significant changes. So what we're going to do is we're going to play through the level. And then I'm going to point out some of the differences I've noticed. And if you've seen any differences I haven't noticed, put it in the comments below. So straight away when the game starts, we can see Lara has got cuts on her. On both arms and also a right leg. So you can see them better there on the arms. So the character model has been changed and if I get a better view of Lara you can see she's also got some scrapes on her front and her top's ripped. So they're changed to the model. So what we're going to do now is we're going to move through the demo and into the main area. So I actually woke up Christmas morning and checked Sega Extreme because I've been checking it with the competition. You know, they do great work over there and homebrew developers are currently showcasing their projects. So definitely go over there and check out the website. You can download games, demos and things like that from the competition. And I went on Christmas morning just to see if any new ones had been up and I seen this one, Tomb Raider. And what was quite strange is it didn't really have much of a description on what it was. But being such a massive Tomb Raider Saturn fan, I was really excited. So I uh, straight away bent a disc and checked it out and I was really impressed. I was almost like a kid on Christmas Day myself getting to play it. Right, should be one more of these I think. So they're different, that's one thing I noticed straight away. So looking at it, they still look like wolves, but the wolves in the game usually are like a, a light grey, they've got grey on them. And these ones, the colours have been changed by the looks of it. So I think it's just the colours, I, I think it is the same model used but the colours are different so let's make our way up into the main area and a big thank you to Ross ROS who has done this mod and entered it into the competition I think it's brilliant I was really excited playing it and we'll just get into the main area here so we're going to get the guns out because there's going to be raptors and then we'll see the T-Rex, which this level is famous for. So the placement of that Raptor is exactly the same as the retail version. And so is the placement of this Raptor. Although, I mean, I could be wrong with this one, but I think they may be taking less bullets to die than they usually do. So I was actually playing the Japanese version of this game. If you jump on here, actually, you're safe. See the way I'm standing on that wooden platform, uh, that ramp? I was playing the Japanese version of Tomb Raider, the retail version, and I noticed that actually the model for the ramp, it's got no like collision detection. You just run through it, you don't actually run up the ramp, you just walk through that ramp. So I think that's been fixed. And even though I was safe, I've decided to come down and do battle. Because the problem with being on that platform is, although you're safe and you can shoot, shoot him, sometimes, because he doesn't really know you're there, He'll go away and um, it becomes difficult, so you'll have to get off. So usually I'll take some shots from the platform and then I'll just go all out war. So if we go this way, there's two raptors. And again, these raptors are in the retail version. But if we go just past where they've come from in a moment when I've killed them, we'll see some of the bigger changes to the game. So we'll just make our way over here. And inside here is where... Quite a few of the changes get to be seen. So when I when I come into here, I was I was scratching my head, almost thinking, was it like this in the real game, the retail? And it isn't. 
So first things first, you can see that the save crystal's actually been changed. It's a different type of save crystal. It looks really good, that one. And if you get into the water, on the retail version, you just get in the water and you just swim and get the cog. But a gate's been added here, so you can't actually just get it like you usually do. So I got back out and I thought, I better have a look around. There must be a way to open that gate. And we can see that this movable block's been added. And by going to the other side, we can see that there's a lever. So it's obvious that you've got to move the block round, press the lever. And the gate's going to open so it's just as I said that's, that's something different from the retail version and I really enjoyed playing this it's fantastic to see the people are still working on games and particularly Tomb Raider you know to get together a mod of the game is that's absolutely fantastic so we'll just go around here loads of other games are getting showcased as part of the Sega Extreme competition so definitely go over and check that out and also I forgot to say Merry Christmas so I'm doing this video on Boxing Day the day after Christmas which is usually a big football day there's a lot of football games on in England but due to the pandemic a lot of them have been cancelled at the minute unfortunately right so if we go round this side now pull it and then push it once that should be it so I've only had one go with this demo previously, which was on Christmas morning, and yeah, it is harder than the level is on the normal Tomb Raider, the retail release, and one of the reasons why is because a lot of the medipacks have been removed, so you, you almost have to do most of it on the health bar that you're given at the beginning. There's a couple of health packs you can find. So that has opened it, so now we can get the first of three cogs we need to get, which we will use towards the end of the level, so here it is. And another thing I didn't say, you can see it quite well in the water as well, is that as well as the model has been changed for Laura, his shadow's been changed as well. On the retail release for the Saturn, that shadow is just plain black, it's just black. Whereas you can clearly see some sort of mesh effect I think it is, is being used. Now, <laughs> don't r just run straight out of here or you're almost certainly going to die. Just slowly come out of here because two raptors will come for you. But they're not just the raptors you had before or the usual raptors that are in the game. They're actually a, a darker colour. I'll show you them in a moment compared to the ones that are in the game, these two. And look, another T-Rex. So a second T-Rex, that's not in the retail release. And again with the T-Rex, it's a darker colour palette on the T-Rex. And like with the Raptors, they take a lot more damage to kill them. So you need to be careful. Just drop down here. This is another pretty safe place you can go. But as I said, see, he's leaving the area because he doesn't detect that I'm there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go towards the bridge, which is where the second cog is. And hopefully he'll be round there and we can just pick him off from the top. Uh, what can be a little bit of a problem is sometimes he just keeps going around in circles underneath it and it's difficult. So there's the, the new save crystal again. So what we'll do now is... Is he here? Can we see him? And no, I don't think he's here. We might have to get back down. Oh no, there he is. There he is, so what we'll do is we'll, we'll pick him off, if we can. So it does take a little bit longer doing it this way, but as I said, this new variant of the T-Rex, which is a darker colour palette, isn't in the retail release, and it does take a lot more bullets. Now, you can make things easier for yourself. When you start the level, you can actually go to the left 
and you can pick up the shotgun and bring the shotgun with you. That'll make things easier because there is shotgun ammo around, although I chose not to do that. But that will help you and probably make it a lot easier to kill the T-Rexes and the Raptors with the shotgun. But we'll pick the shotgun up later, but yeah, it might be a good idea if you want to play it through to get the shotgun first. So he's gone down. So what we'll do is we will go to the other side, get the cog, and then what I'll do is I'll actually go up to the retail release Raptor and also T-Rex and I'll show you to make it a bit more clearer that the colour palette is different for the added ones. So let's just get that. Right, so this is the T-Rex from the retail release and the first one. So you can see, you know, it's got light green, dark green on it. And this is the added one. Which we can see, it's dark green and darker green. And it, it seems to have higher health as well. In terms of raptors, we'll do the same. So this is quite light red. And you, that's the retail release raptor. And if we go over here... This is where I killed the other two, isn't it? Right, there's one. And again with this one you can see it is red still, but it's more dark red and darker red. So what we'll do next is we'll get one of the secrets. There's five secrets in this level. And I'll also show you another difference I've noticed. It's a good position to show you from up here. So we'll just make our way over. And that's it, we'll stop. In fact, I'll show you on the next one. Let's just get across this one and I'll show you another difference. You might have spotted it in the top of the screen there. And let's just move over here to get a good view. And it's the sky. The sky has been changed. You can see there's a moon there and there's also stars. They don't appear in the retail release. So let's jump over here for a secret. And have some of the items being taken. There's one of two medipacks I noticed in the level. And they're only small ones, you don't uh, you're not getting the big ones. And there's some shotgun ammo. Another important thing is actually when you get the shotgun it doesn't have any ammo with it but there is a couple of places around the level where you can get shotgun ammo and using the shotgun will certainly make things a little bit easier. But I didn't want to make it easy for myself so we'll just make our way over here and get the other secret and also the other cog that we need and I think there's is this shotgun ammo this one. Yeah, shotgun ammo again, so there's a fair bit of shotgun ammo, but I'm just going to complete the level solely using the pistols, which have unlimited ammo, it's just a good thing about it. People who've played the Tomb Raider beaters will know that originally it did look like you were going to have to find ammo for the pistol as well, but they ended up making the game so it was unlimited to use the pistol, where every other weapon you use though, you do need ammo for. We'll just get up here, and there should be a item in the waterfall, and then we can get the secret, which is just to the right of this, and there's also the last cog, which you can go two ways to get the last cog. You can either just drop down into the water that's below this little waterfall we're on now, in. but the problem with if, if you go that way is that sometimes the raptor keeps knocking you when you ooh, took a bit of damage there, that was a mistake sometimes the raptor won't let you get out of the water, other times it's perfectly fine but sometimes you can be a bit of a pain, so if you go the other way it can be a little bit easier, so again more shotgun ammo there so this level you can pretty much get the cogs and the secrets in you know whatever order you want so if you want to make it a lot easier for yourself, 
what you would do is, is is you pick up the shotgun at the start of the level by going left instead of straight to the waterfall and then do the level in a way so you pick up all the shotgun ammo at the start before you go into uh, the building which triggers the new variants of the t-rex and the raptors to to spawn and you can then use all the uh, shotgun ammo to kill them so that one's dead see sometimes he comes out of that room and he stands right by where you come up out of the water there and he just keeps knocking you it can be a bit of a pain just get up here and this is the last of the three cogs we need to be able to complete the level and then it's just tracking all the way back to the beginning and then go past the beginning and make our way to the left and then there's some there's some jumps as well which I just I take your time using the tactic of just walking to the edge, step back, um, or a jump back rather than just a step, and then run and hold the jump button. That's the easiest way to do it because it, it can be annoying. You can do them freestyle, um, but if you make a mistake when you're making your way um, to this next bit, you keep falling in the water and the, the current of the water drags you down and you have to start it all again so it is best to just take your time with it I think so yeah I think it's excellent work that Ross has done hopefully we'll see more Tomb Raider mods because as soon as I seen this, I thought, oh, this is this is definitely something I'm going to enjoy. And I'm sure there's plenty of other things that are being um, modded in the game that I probably haven't haven't noticed. If you notice any that I haven't said, you know, put them in the comments. I'll be made up to hear about them. As I said, this is only the second time I've played through it, so I will be playing through it plenty of times. So I'm sure I'll find more. If I do find more, actually, I'll put them in the description. So this is it. I'll just take your time because, you know, especially towards the end, um, if you fall in, it's just a pain having to do it all again. Right. And with this one, it's tempting to take a run and jump. Is it this one? Yeah, it's tempting to take a run and jump, but if you do that, you put the ceiling and fall in the water as well. So just move to the side a bit and just jump over like that. And if you take a jump here, you can actually jump from this ledge we're on now back over again and get the shotgun. Um, when you start the level, that's how you can do it. But we didn't do that made it difficult for ourselves and just use the pistols so we're coming to the end of the level now so there's the save crystal there and again it's one of the new ones I always thought that was a bad position for a save crystal because um, especially with the, the retail ones they look a little bit bigger than that and sometimes it can be a bit awkward to get past the save crystal if you don't want to use it to continue over the, um, over the bridge it's sort of blocking your way so we just put in the three cogs and we can get the machine started then. And there's another secret to get. Well, there's two secrets left to get. One of the secrets, really. Um, you have to go that way anyway, so I don't think you're really finding it. You just It's just one you way past. But there is one secret that fairly well hidden, and that's this next one here. So when you've got that, just drop off or hold the B button and you can shimmy to the side and even though it looks like it's, w it's water you can actually stand on them blocks where it looks like it's water this bit here you can stand on this bit and oh it's another medipack when we had stuff on the ceiling <laughs> and get the medipack and I'll show you where the shotgun is now 
because we've got to go past it anyway. But if you'd have come up here earlier in the level, that that gate wouldn't be there. The water just flow right down. This is where the shotgun is. And I think that's a new sound effect. I don't recall ever hearing her say that when she picks up the shotgun usually where she says aha. I think that's being added. I could be wrong with that one but I'm fairly sure. So now we just have to swim along. And we will come up in the room which is the last secret. And again there's more shotgun ammo. There's some ammo for the Uzis and also the Magnums, which you don't have in this stage in the game, but you, you start finding ammo for them. So we'll just collect them. And then we'll be able to exit the level. So yeah, it is. It's shotgun ammo. I think that's Uzi ammo. Yeah, it is. And this is the Magnum ammo. And we just need to drop off here now and just jump in the water, turn around and we can exit the level. Once again, I would like to say a big thank you for Roz. I'm not really sure uh, how it's pronounced there. ROS it is. And yeah, I hope you continue to make more mods. I think it's absolutely fantastic. And yeah, I really enjoy playing through it. I'm going to continue playing through it, see what else I can find. And as we can see, you know, we've got five out of five secrets there. And there's also some other bits of bonus material at the end of the demo that I'll show you. So a video sequence followed by some artwork and also the loading screen at the beginning is being changed to Laura and the T-Rex that looks absolutely fantastic and there's also when you boot up the demo originally there's also a video that wasn't in the game originally there so we can see some really nice artwork here that's Laura I actually wonder if it'd be possible to get Laura's ponytail back. She was originally meant to have a ponytail in the first game, although they had difficulty with the collision detection, I think it was, if I remember correctly. I read that. So it ended up more like a bun. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.